Hey everyone, Nick Dearbert is here teaching you financial modeling. Today we're going to be solving the lab exercise for reading and writing to Excel with Excel Wings. This is part of our lecture segment on combining Excel and Python. So we covered all of the Excel Wings material and then we're left with these four different lab exercises. And the fourth one is an optional one. The first three were required. So for the first lab exercise, uh, and for all the exercises, we're going to use this Excel Wings lab. Um, so I'll just uh, download that there. Um, and for the first one, we are going to read the values in column A and then write them into column B. Um, so let's go over to the um, Jupyter Notebook. Um, and we can um, also open up this Excel workbook so we can see what's going on in it. Um, and then I'll put the two side by side so it's clear. So I can put this over here, um, put Jupyter over here. And now let's work with these data. So we want to take the values which are in uh, column A and write them into column B. So first, of course, we're going to um, import Excel wings. Uh, we need to get access to the book and the sheet. So um, book equals xw.book. Uh, and this is Excel wings lab.xlsx. Um, and the sheet is going to be book.sheets. Uh, sheet one. So now we have access to this. Um, and we can, let's look at A1 to A5. That's the range that we want to get. Uh, values from column A. What does that look like? We get a list of A, none, B, none, C. Um, so we can do uh, call A values or that. And now we can then assign back to column B, the same rows in column B with those column A values. So we do that um, and that didn't work right. We got it going horizontally. So um, that's where we have to apply this trick, which is gonna allow us to output vertically. So I'm just gonna delete those out from Excel. Um, we want to output vertically, so we're going to do a list comprehension, uh, I for I in uh, the values, and wrapping this part in another list. And then when we rerun that, now we can see that those same values have come over to column B as well. So that's the first exercise. The second exercise is then to take the value in C9 and multiply it by 2.5 in Python. Um, so the value in C9. Um, so we can do sheet range uh, this time C9. We can see we're getting that um, 950. And that's weird that it's coming in as a float. That does make it easy. Um, I expected it to come in as a decimal. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure what the change was there. Um, but now it comes in as a decimal. Um, and that's why this is not just incredibly straightforward. Uh, we're going to multiply it and we get the unsupported uh, between decimal and float. So all that it takes is just wrapping that in float to convert it. And then you can properly do the math. So that's the level two exercise. Then coming to level three, we want to read the table starting in E4 into Python, multiply the prices by 2.5, and then output back into the cell uh, H5. And we want to make sure to keep the same table format uh, for both tables in Excel. So we have this table starting here in E4. And we're going to want to read it in, multiply the prices, and spit it back into uh, H5. So H5 is 
off the screen, it's over here. Um, so we can first read this table end. So um, again, sheet dot range, um, and we can use the expand trick to not have to do the entire range. We can just do e4 dot expand. That's going to grab all of that. And if we look at that, we'll see we get all of that. And uh, we can add options. Um, we do have to import pandas as pd to be able to use the pandas functionality. So options pd dot data frame. And now you can see we get in this ticker price data frame, um, but we might not want to have the ticker as the index. So we can put index equals false. And now we've got kind of what we expect ticker and price as the columns and the index just the normal 0, 1, 2, etc. So we can save that into the data frame and now we can output it. So um, now this is going to go into H5. Um, and we're going to assign the data frame there. Um, we have to assign a value or it's not going to work. And we can see, uh, initially that wasn't quite what we wanted because we got this index in here as well. We don't want that. Um, so then we add the dot options, uh, data frame index equals false. And now we can see that it comes back in the same format. Oh, but we did want to also multiply uh, the values, right, by 2.5. Um, so we can add in df price equals df price times 2.5. And then we can re-output it. And now we see the larger prices coming in there. So that covers the level 3 exercise. And that is everything that would be required. And then the optional exercise is level four. And level four in column L, we want to write five, 10, 15, going up to 100, and spacing that two cells apart for each one. So for this one, uh, we're writing everything into column L. And uh, first, let's get the numbers that we want to use. Um, so I4I in range. Um, so we want to go up to 100, but we want to do it in increments, or yeah, 100, but increments of five. So that would be um, zero, 100, one in increments of five. Um, there we go. And we don't want, do we want zero? Uh, nope, it's starting from five and going to 100. So we'll start from one here instead. Now we, uh, I know we'll start, uh, sorry, we'll start from five. Yep. So five going up to hundred. So those are the right numbers. Um, so now I'll form the loop and, um, so we have the number that we want to output. Now we have to get this, where do we put it into the Excel sheet? Um, so we can say um, that the row is going to start from row number one. And so the cell reference is going to be L and then uh, the row. And then we're going to um, do the range of the cell reference value. We're going to set that to I. And then for the row, we're going to add two to it um, so that it goes down by two. So I think we should run this and that should work. Oh, we did want them spaced two apart. Um, so that would be plus three each time. Let's try that again. Um, and yes, now we have starting from five going up to 100 and they're each spaced two cells apart. So this is what we wanted for the fourth lab exercise. So that covers all the lab exercises on reading and writing to Excel with Excel Wings. Thanks for listening and see you next time.